What's up YouTube, I'm just another guy and welcome to the Washway here with Aberwith Swift Town. So, second leg of the Europa League first qualifying round and of course we won 3-1 in the last game. I actually found out where the stadium was that we played in. It was in uh, Lanelli, uh, but I, I don't actually know the team who it was, but I know Wells do play there. Wells have a list of five stadiums and that was one of them and every Welsh, t Welsh uh, every Welsh team in the Welsh Premier League gets a stadium to play at in Europe because the stadiums don't meet requirements. I know some team got the Liberty Stadium and another team got another one. We got this one. It's a pretty good stadium. It's like 13 capacity, you know, 13,000 capacity. So, you know, it's all good. But yeah, no other transfer news to talk about. No, you know, m movements in or out. So we're just going to jump straight into this and slightly moved, mix the team up a little bit. So tiredness and fitness are still an issue. So Hislop has ended up dropping back to left mid. Uh, so Robert Bollock has ended up starting up front. I actually don't believe that target man role. So what we'll do is we'll actually swap these two around. Um, Stefan Lewis, Stefan, sorry, Lewis comes in at right back. A sign for us last season, part of the youth intake. So they'll be making his debut today for us. What quite a day to make his debut. James Pritchard comes into the team at right mid because of tiredness to Pren. It's not exactly tiredness, it's just that they're not exactly the fittest players in the world. I just want my fittest squad on the pitch. Mike Lewis comes in goal as well as um, our first choice keeper. As again, Luke Fleming isn't exactly match fit. So I still think that's a squad that is good enough to beat this team. I've actually forgot to make a change there, so what we will do is we'll give this guy number 16, considering, you know, I doubt he'll play much this season, but still would be a first choice guy. And I actually meant to put this to counter, and especially with the changes made to the team, I think it's best that we do go on to counter attack. Uh, so, pick up where he left off, because, you know, we played very, very well last game, and I actually want to go to counter. Doesn't really make too much of a difference, you know, the two formations we have are pretty much this, are actually the same, uh, even the same player instructions, things like that. Everything's the same, it's just one's control, one's counters, instead of having to keep on swapping and changing it. BF. There we go, hopefully this game will be a drab match, you know, isn't exactly good for you guys, but I don't want a lot of um, excitement and stuff. Maybe we can score a few more goals, I'd like to win this quite emphatically on the aggregate scoreline. But apart from that, you know, I just want to progress through to the next round and get Ghent. Um... Here's Hislop out on the left today. Oh, good shot. Had to be saved by the keeper. Now Broski. Hislop. I can't find a good ball in. I think it's the first time actually I've played Hislop out as a left mid. I think I've played him as a left attacking mid a couple of times, but left mid. This is the first time, so interested to see how he plays because I may end up having to drop him back there a few more times this season. And actually, the only reason he's dropped back there is because my backup left mid is currently not match fit either. You know, he's not even at an appropriate addition. I think he's in a worse condition than my other um, than Davies. So that's why I dropped his slot back there as he's broken through and scored the first goal for us, giving us the away goal, cancelled out theirs, which means they have to score three just to get it to extra time. And I highly doubt we're going to concede three goals today. So I think we'll progress through. I mean, I was pretty much certain after the first game we won three one, but still. Going to near away goal, going to their ground is a different story. Most times, you see their pitch condition there was terrible. It said that beforehand, but good run from Hislop. Good shot. Keeper should have done a lot better. Ended up helping it going to his own net, but a really, really nice way to take the lead in the game. And it seems a lot of it is coming down from Hislop as Jones now have a chance. If he can shoot, he does. And the keeper yet again helps it into his own net. It looks like it was going wide, but somehow the keeper touched it and helped it go into his own goal. 2-0. Really, really easy now. Comfort we should be comfortably home and dry. Look at that. He shot, I think it went bobbled over him and maybe touched his arm or something, helped it direct it more goalwards. Really too really quite fortunate maybe. And maybe on another day with a slightly better keeper they would have been saved. But still I'm gonna take what I can get in Europe and that's two goals. Away to home to in in the Faroe Islands. So very, very nice. It's Pritchard running forward here, unopposed really, and Jones gets there and scores don't know what was going on with Soros and the defender. The keeper's come out way too far. Looks like after the ball. 3-0. It looks like it's going to be even easier than it was at home. Look at that. The, the defender touched it. Jones with a sliding challenge just to try and get there. And the keeper was all over the place. He come out. Should have called the defender. Come out and touch the ball. You know, everything was just all over the place. And we've capitalized on poor defensive error there. And look at that. Four shots on target. Four shots, four shots on target, zero clear-cut opportunities. So we're taking chances that aren't exactly there, you know, what they're for the taking. We're just capitalizing very, very well on our chances and being very clinical up front. 
which is very nice to see going into the season because this is basically a pre-season match. For me, anyway, the game against Ghent will, of course, mean a lot more, but this match is another pre-season match, so very, very nicely done. I'm going to say this passionately. I'm very happy to keep it going because, you know, we are pretty much home and dry now. Three goals. I don't expect them to score five in this half. Actually, six in this half. They can't even get it to extra time anymore because of our three away goals. This is much better than what I expected. Um, we'll take off his slop on the 50th minute just because he's picked up a knock. Uh, not actually an injury, but he's just been knocked on the, uh, and his fitness has dropped dramatically. I uh, don't really want to risk him considering he's one of our best players, which is quite strange to say considering I signed him last season as a you know, a, a player for the future. He's ended up coming in as a player now. A Samuelson with a chance there. And Lewis, easy save for him. So, yeah, we're going to make the changes now. We're going to take off his lop. Uh, bring on... We're going on Barry Morgan, actually. Um, we'll take off Sinner. We'll bring on Nigel Hamilton-Davies. And we will take off Mark Jones. And we'll bring on Ewan Humphrey. So, three changes, 53rd minute. Like we did last game, three substitutes in one, but our players do need to be rotated out. Uh, I'm not sure when this game, played, game will be played, um, as in fixture-wise and stuff, because I would like another friendly just to try and increase our match fitness. As Humphreys is away here, can't beat the last guy and get that shot away. Uh, but yeah, I'm not actually sure. I would like another friendly, but if things like if fixtures lie awkwardly and things like that, there may not be another game before that next Europa League game, which of course will be live com. Because this is pretty much history. Our yeah? first time in Europe. Mickelson scores for EB, giving them a surely nothing more than a consolation goal. Uh, good play, good play by them. You know, I don't know what was going on. Was that Hamilton Davies? Yeah, maybe an inexperienced player there, of course, showing. Don't know what's up with that red sky. <laughs> That's a little bit creepy. <laughs> well, are we playing in hell? <laughs> it's the Faroe Islands. God damn it! It's not exactly. Really, oh, that's weird. Anyway, so Morgan playing on the left. Although I, I've never played Morgan on the wing, and I don't think he's got the physical stats really to play on the wing. But he's doing very well there, beating a couple of guys. Venables with a long shot, just wide of the goal. So there you go. Thirteen minutes remaining. Um, we'll keep everything on counter. You know, we're playing all right. Our, our fitness has definitely hit the, hit the cliff right now. With fifty, everything everyone's in fifty in terms of condition. So I think they'll look to find space now, which they have out on the wing. Pierce beats the fullback very easily and scores 3 2. EB are getting back into this. Pierce with a good goal. Probably wouldn't say magnificent, but with a good goal. He, de uh, he beat whoever that is, Pren, quite easily and then slots it past Lewis. Oh, unlucky there. Maybe should have done a little bit better, being very clinic, uh, very crucial, you know, very. I can't think of the word, but anyway. <laughs> being very critical. That was the word. Uh, critical. I know it's obviously. But we need to just maintain the ball a little bit now. 3-2. Uh, we should have been doing... We should have... You know, we shouldn't have conceded that many goals. But Bullock is here. Bullock with a goal. 4-2. 7-3 on aggregate. Very, very nice. Very simple goal for him. I think that's his first ever goal for us as well. Uh, I don't remember him scoring much. I don't actually remember him playing much last season. But I believe that would be his first ever goal for us. Uh, although I didn't say at the bottom. So I'm presuming he scored again at another time. Again, it's pretty creepy. And what's that wall there? Is that a house? <laughs> looking at the outside of the stadium instead of the goals. <laughs> but 4-2 at the game, 7-3 on aggregate. I'm pretty sure this is how it will end, yep. As time is just ticking off now. And there we go, full-time whistle. We do progress through to the next round. Very simple win, very simple progression through in this round. Um, easier than I expected, actually. As a real Jack and High performance day, you are fantastic in the first half show. And, um, you know what, I'll say it calmly. I don't want to do Jack and Hyde on them, you know. <laughs> Alright, it was a game of two halves in a way, but we still scored in the second half. We still got a two-goal comfortable lead. Uh, a two-goal cushion, I mean, on the whim. So, um, yeah, I think the, that was a very, very easy tie. So, yeah, one of the friendlies has been cancelled. We get against in Europe in the second round. Um, home tie will be played uh, at Park Wise Scarlets, whatever that is. I probably said that absolutely terrible because I do not speak Welsh. But AA against... That'll be a very, very tricky fixture because, of course, they're a professional team. You know, they have got... Their value is 8.5 million. What is our value? 300k. <laughs> One of their blokes' wages for the year probably could pay for us. And we'll look at their... Um, they have a striker. We'll look at Pedersen. I mean, look at the quality of player there. 
in comparison to our probably most clinical striker, Hislop. <laughs> it's just no comparison, really. But 4-2, we've progressed through the round. Lewis made his debut on a very good, comfortable win as well. Um, you know what? Let's be realistic. We're not going to win it, but every game is an adventure, and we're going to enjoy it. Substitute Mark Jones, who's on an actual brace and high brows. Uh, I wouldn't want him to be protesting all, but I know... The team is more important thing. Mark Jones picked up player of the match today. Good solid game. Your draw has been tough. It has been tough, but they were all pretty much tough games. Although looking at the um, you know um, seeded and non-seeded teams for this second Europa League qualifying round, uh, Ghent were the hardest team in that. So it was very very tough. Although pretty much every team at that stage in the tournament that we could be drawn against was a tough team. Um, I agree it's a tough ask. We've been playing very well. I don't really want to say that. Uh, it's a good challenge, but I'm looking forward to it. Yep. So, there you go. 84,000, sorry, 52k for qualifying from that round. So, financially, that has left us in an absolutely beautiful position. Um, and I presume if we get not tied the Europa League, we'll still get a little bit of money from that. So, very, very nice to see. So, this will be it for now, guys. Next time I will see you back will actually be on a Thursday. I think less than a week away, is it? Eight days away. Whew. So, until then, guys. Peace out.